quarantine was hard for a lot of people. The pandemic changed a lot. I really don't know what you would call this. Including how many of us choose to spend our time. COVID came along and I was cleaning out my closets. Former teacher Heidi Kalega found plenty of stuff from her teaching days. Then I couldn't bear to part with it. I'm looking for white. So she took a more creative route. You can make something interesting from just about anything. And she means anything. Beads, buttons, necklaces, army men, little plastic toys. I go in parking lots and I'll find old rusted bottle caps and use those. Heidi crafts portraits out of many, many pieces of junk. This is all things people have discarded. None of this is new. Turning litter into someone's likeness. Pretty much anything that you can imagine is in here. So I have a bag of babies. Piece by random piece, going through a lot of hot glue. I have a um, <laughs> industrial size box. This is my second box. A totally self-taught trash artist. So this is my favorite piece that I've done. This is a Frida Kahlo. It's taken from um, a picture of her, Marilyn Monroe. She's just such a iconic beauty. It's kind of amazing to me that I was able to do this. <laughs> you know, I'm like, this is trash. <laughs> And when you go through this many little pieces of everything. I mean, thousands and thousands of pieces would go into it. You eventually need a restock and a post on next door delivered. I got such an incredible outpouring. I had bags and bags of things donated left up my doorstep. It also caught the attention of the right people. I met people from a, an artist co-op, a gallery, the next gallery in Denver. And I have a piece in a gallery right now, which is thrilling. I never imagined this. <laughs> With a full show of her artwork scheduled for October. Never expected that. It started as something to just get through quarantine. I do think it is meditative and therapeutic to do stuff like this. Turning a random assortment of things into something else entirely. It's nice to use something that would otherwise just be going into a landfill. Turned this former teacher. I'm going to work on her eyebrows. Into a professional artist. I feel like if I can reuse trash and make it something that people would want in their house, then it's a win-win. An artist that then turned. This is the most famous person I've done. A well-dressed news reporter. There is a little baby bottom here and some deer into this. If anybody ever says I'm a trash reporter, this is what I'm going to show them. In portrait form, I'm Jason Grenauer. I look good for trash. Denver 7. It's awesome.